How's it going everybody? This is Jeff Bam, Team Real and Blues. Well, summertime's quickly approaching. Springtime's here, but the water temperatures are already starting to go up. Uh, right now, we're starting to have a few tournaments on Wiley, and right now there's a lot of catfish tournaments year-round pretty much on Wiley, but summertime, water and keeping your fish alive is the most important. I've got a tournament coming up here in about three or four months. It's uh, the Grand Slam tournament. There'll be dates coming out pretty soon telling when that's going to happen. But anyway, I just wanted to give people a heads up on getting ready for that. We require boats to have a nice uh, live well that they can keep three good quality fish in. Uh, we're not expecting everybody to come out there with a hundred gallon live well. You really don't need a live well that big. The biggest thing for a live well is water. And I don't mean water volume, I mean just water, fresh water. My boat out here, I don't know if you've seen my, uh, my StarCraft boat build. It's my catfish boat build. You'll see plenty of videos on my page that show that. Uh, I'll put a link for one of them up here. But on that boat, the live well is only about 75 gallons, which I say only about 75 gallons, but it's about 75 gallons. I don't need that much, but I had room, so I built it. But anyway, that live well is a constant flow live well. And what I mean by that is once I put the fish in it, I turn the pump on, it starts filling it with water. Once it starts filling it with water, I never cut that pump off. The pump has an overflow on both sides of my live well up in the front, lets water dump out as quick as it's coming in. That way the water's always being turned over. So you got the fish, he's uh, stressed out, no matter what people try to say. When you catch a fish, you stress it out. The longer you keep it, the longer you're stressing it out. Well, when you start stressing it out, it's gonna start uh, emptying the contents of its stomach. You're gonna find a lot of stomach contents in there. It also starts uh, venting, using the bathroom inside the tank. A lot of ammonia builds up. If you're not turning that water over, you're, you're doing damage to the fish. You can put oxygen on them all day long. Oxygenated swamp water and, and sewer water is still oxygenated sewer water. Uh, oxygen can be a good thing. I've never used it, and I really don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's necessary at all, really. And there's going to be a lot of people argue that point, uh, especially the people that make oxygen systems. But the surface water in a lake has the most oxygen. It's right on the surface so it only makes sense if you're going to pump and fill that live well back up the water you're pumping in there has the maximum amount of oxygen that the water can hold essentially and what the fish actually needs so as long as you got good constant water circulation that's all you really need now i'm gonna have people saying yeah but that water's warm it's a cold-blooded animal it can deal with hot water i catch them out of the hot hole up here in south carolina or in north carolina I've caught catfish out of water that was 100 plus degrees. They didn't seem to mind a bit. But anyway, I'll get off that subject. But people always ask me, how do you build a live well? Well, I'm gonna show you the simplest way to build you a nice live well on the boat. And I'm not gonna show you how to build a live well. Anything to hold water can be used as a live well as long as it's big enough. Part that people get into trouble on is the plumbing of it. So here's a kit that I bought, uh, cause I'm doing it on the boat I'm doing right now. And essentially, it's about the perfect kit for what you need. I'll put a link for it down below. Uh, I think you can get them off Amazon. I bought this one off of Cabela's. But let me show you what all's in here. So this kit is uh, made by Johnson Pumps. Like I said, this one came from Cabela's. They make, uh, Johnson makes several different versions of this now, I do believe. But this one came from Cabela's, but you can order it online. And uh, the kit pretty much includes everything you need to do exactly like what we was just talking about. The kit comes with a spray bar that you can put inside there. That'll actually give the water a little bit more oxygen. But it also, the biggest thing this does is that water spraying actually cools it down a little bit. So it'll help the water to cool off just a little bit. Comes with a switch you need to make it work. Comes with a 500 gallon pump that's got a replaceable cartridge in it. And here's the two things that makes for a good catfish or any live well. It's got the through holes you need to pump the tank out or to fill it and for it to drain back out. It comes to two of them. So that way you can actually put one, let's say you put a, uh, a water trough in your boat. Slap one of these through holes in that water trough. Make this the inside of it. Let me go ahead and get everything out of the box here and we can put it out. There we go. So here's, it comes with the hose you need to go on your through hole. So see, so you can put that on there, run this side over the side of the boat if you want to. And if you don't, if you have a boat that's pretty much a dedicated catfish boat that you only put the live well in and out of every once in a while, you can just hang this over the side. 
but if it's a boat that you use for catfishing a lot, you go ahead and drill this other through hole through the side of your boat and just have it in there as long as it's not below the water line, it ain't gonna hurt anything. And then when you load your tank in the boat, all you gotta do is leave this side hooked to the tank and just plug it into that. And when the tank gets full, water dumps out. So you can just do the same thing I was talking about. Turn, turn the pump on, let it fill up, let it overflow. You can see that's a, that's a pretty big hole. And 500 gallon pump, this should just about be perfect. You should never have to worry about the tank actually overflowing in the boat with that much drainage. And these kits come with pretty much everything else you need. Comes with the wiring, it's already tinned wiring. Comes with the clamps, comes with the uh, three quarter uh, nipple you need to make your pump work. So really, if you're gonna build a catfish live well on your boat that's temporary or permanent, this kit's pretty much all you need. Now, like I say, you can put oxygen on it if you want to, but for me, I think that's just overkill. Maybe in a 100 degree temperature, maybe that oxygen will help some, I don't know. But if you're looking into buying you a, a pump kit, or if you're looking into building you a live well that you can take on and off the boat, or even a permanent one, look into these uh, kits right here. Like I said, I don't think you can go wrong. You can't buy all these parts individually for what you can buy the kit for, no matter how much shopping around you do most of the time. See that spray bar will work out perfect. That way you can put it in one end and spray the water down on it and keep the water moving. In my tanks on my boats, normally I try to put the spray bar on one end, put the drain on the opposite end. That way you're actually pumping the water in and then letting it drain out the other end. That way the water's kind of turning over. You're not draining out the fresh water you just got done putting in. So there you go. I hope this video helps you. Maybe make it a little bit less stressful when you go to build your tank. Like I say, it already comes with a switch and everything. But you about can't go wrong with one of these kits. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them and I'll answer them as soon as I can. I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned.